Hi angels, it's Brianna. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a very special video, which is my hair care routine. This is my most requested video and I've just been pushing it off for so long because my hair care routine is very simple, which you guys will see by the end of this video. It is so minimalistic and easy. And I was like, why would anybody ever want to watch it? Like I don't do much but maybe that's why my hair has grown so fast and so much. I'll insert a picture right here of a few years ago. This was me, I had hair to here, it was bleach blonde. My hair has been through a lot. So I'm just gonna share my hair journey, share the products I use, some little tips that I have found along the way. I'm not a hairstylist, I'm not telling you like you have to do this. Honestly, I don't even know if these things will work. This is just what I do, you know? So I feel like one of the main reasons why my hair has grown so much and why it's not super duper damaged, although I've had very bleached hair, and that is all at the ends. This was all of my blonde hair. I feel like the reason that it's not super damaged is that I never really apply heat. And when I say I never really apply heat, like, I maybe curl my hair once a year. That's being generous. Like, I don't think I've curled my hair at all this year in 2019. And I can't remember the last time I even curled it, you know? I don't use a blow dryer. I don't do anything to damage it with heat. And I think that's one of the reasons that my hair stays relatively healthy. Another thing which some of you are gonna probably cringe right now, but I'm just telling you what I do, okay? I haven't gotten a haircut in it over a year and a half. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm gonna insert a picture of what my haircut one a year and a half ago looked like, like how short it was. Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna get dragged in the comments section. But you know how a lot of hairstylists say, oh, in order for your hair to grow, you have to cut off the dead ends. How does that make sense? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> But I'm not, I'm not like saying that I'm right or that I know anything, but I just haven't got a haircut in a year and a half and my hair has grown so much. So I'm like, hmm, is that really true? I don't know. But I am getting a haircut soon, don't worry. I'm actually gonna do a major transformation. So that's why I wanted to film this video before I cut it all off. So this is my natural hair. I mean, you guys see my natural hair every single day because that's all I really wear. But it's pretty straight. Like last night I took a shower and washed my hair and I actually didn't brush it until this morning. That's why it's not like as straight as it could be. But if I wash it, if I brush it while it's actually still wet, it'll be like... Okay, now moving on to products. For shampoo and conditioner, I use Way Hair Care. So the shampoo I use, I either use the Repair Shampoo, which is this one, which I'm almost out of, and then I also use their Clean Shampoo. And I've been using Way Hair Care for like almost two years now. So I can't really compare it to anything else. The only other shampoo that I've used in the last two years is literally like, if I forget my shampoo, I'll use the one at the hotel and that is not fun. So compared to <laughs> hotel shampoo, there's a huge difference. Basically before I would use this, I would go back and forth between different shampoos and I never really found one that I loved because a lot of the times they will leave like a really disgusting residue in my hair. And like, even though I just washed it, it would get greasy so fast. It would feel very heavy and weighed down. And it was just not a fun feeling. So I started using this two years ago and I never went back. I'm like, there's no way I'm ever using another shampoo in my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Obviously I'm down to try more, but this is just, I'm a very loyal girl. Once I find something I like, I use it and I keep using it and I don't try anything new. <laughs> but I love the smell of this stuff. The main difference between this and the clean one is well, I don't know the main difference, but I find that the clean one really cleans my hair and I can go longer without washing my hair. Basically what I do is when I get in the shower, I first put on this conditioner and this is the repair conditioner. As you can see, this guy is like well loved. Like this is literally like peeling off. <laughs> it's 
like dented. This is very well loved. I literally have this much left. What I do is I just put it on my hands. I rub my hands together and I only put it on the ends of my hair. And I, I only condition my hair once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Because I feel like when I do, sometimes it can really weigh down my hair. What I do is I just put it at the ends. I go like from here down with conditioner. I let it sit. I like shave my armpits, shave my legs, wash my body maybe. And then I'll start like rinsing it out a little bit. And then I'll apply the shampoo in my roots and then just scrub it through the ends. And then I'll wash everything out together. And that's just what I do in the shower. And when I get out of the shower, like I was saying, I don't apply heat. So I do not blow dry my hair. I always, always, always towel dry my hair. So I'll take a towel when it's like soaking wet and I'll just like grab my hair with the towel in my hand, if that makes sense. And I literally, that's all I do. Sometimes I'll literally go out places with wet hair and I honestly do not care. Obviously during the winter, it's not as fun, but I'll just shower at night then, you know? So that's what I do. And then once it's like almost dry, it's like a little bit still damp, but excuse me, pretty much almost dry. I will take this wet brush. I don't want to show you the front because it's disgusting. I love this brush so much. I used to never brush my hair when I was in like grade school and high school and I'd get like a rat's nest behind. Like just right here, it was disgusting because it was just so painful and I always had like nice long hair but it would get so tangled so easily and then i discovered this wet brush and it is literally the best thing ever except oh skip forward if you don't want to see something that's kind of gross um it collects lint and like i try to take the lint out and it doesn't come out so please help me like how do i do it luckily it doesn't like go on my hair or anything so it doesn't really matter to me but Sometimes when someone's like, can I use your brush? I'm like, oh, I don't have one. <laughs> I use the wet brush and it's amazing. And it does not hurt my hair. Doesn't damage it, doesn't pull on it. It's amazing. And then I don't do this every single day, but days where my hair is feeling pretty dry, like today, my hair is feeling pretty dry. I'll use this Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil by Negan Marsali. And it smells divine. It is so good. So I'm gonna apply it to my hair right now. So I'll take some on the back of my hand like this. No, that's the palm of my hand. And I'll just rub it in. Honestly, I used more than I normally do, but I'll just rub it in my hand. So my hand is, my hands are very shiny. Ooh. And then I'll just run it through the ends. And I don't like to put this near the roots because I feel like it makes like with any oil it's kind of obvious if you put an oil near your roots it's gonna make your hair look oily you know so I just oh my gosh it smells so good this is such a great product it's one of my favorite products in the entire world and I feel so bougie and extra whenever I use it and it just makes me feel so good and it makes my hair smell divine also the smell of these so good but I just do that. Literally, my hair feels so soft now. It's insane. And then the next product that I use is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. And this one is in the shade Divine Dark. So they have ones for blonde hair, ones for dark brown hair, light brown hair. They just have a bunch of different ones. And I've tried a lot of dry shampoos. And a lot of the times they just make my hair feel really stiff or they don't even work or some make it look even greasier and grosser than it even looked. And this is just the best in my opinion. And it's very affordable, super easy to get your hands on this you can go to target walmart anywhere any drugstore you can find this i literally go through one or two of these a month they are just so amazing so i'll shake it up and then as you can see through the nozzle like it comes out dark so you have to be really careful normally i'll do this before i apply my makeup but what i do i shouldn't do this by a white couch i'm just gonna do the top a little bit so i spray it just like that and then i'll spray it do, do, do like that all over my hair and make sure you really get the roots and then I just go through with my fingers and just tossle it out and you do have to be careful because I have stained <laughs> our car the headrest I have stained it from this dry shampoo it's kind of bad 
I love it because it's not gonna leave like a weird cast in my hair and it gives me volume too I love it so much, but it's honestly the best dry shampoo I have found for myself and it just doesn't leave my hair still looking greasy and it doesn't make it feel like super dry you know that feeling of dry shampoo Ugh. and it smells pretty good I mean it's not like as good as these ones but the scent is pretty good it's like coconut all right guys so that is it for today's video what did you guys think about my hair care routine it's very simple like I literally do nothing I just let nature happen I guess I hope you guys found this video very helpful. I am not a hairstylist. I'm not claiming to like know everything about hair. Basically, I know nothing about hair. I normally just focus on makeup and outfit and hair is like the last thing that I even think about. So don't take this video too seriously. I'm probably gonna get dragged in the comments by hairstylists, but that's okay. We'll all learn then. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I will see you in my next video.